Hi, I'm Underbelly, and you suck at producing. When T.A. Mayer was writing the beginning of our new song, Drumroll Deletist, he was coming off one of his bath salts benders, and his sense of timing and space was completely warped. I mean, try counting along with this stuff. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. What, what the f- What we need to do is figure out the time signatures and rhythms that T.A. Mayer was using. That way I can finish this song and you can learn how to apply this rhythmic complexity back to your own music. By the way, this song is taken off my new EP, Mental Kill, which you can check out in the video description. Let's get started. Okay, so check it. There's a whole world of music outside of counting to four, and to access it, all we need to do is mess with the time signature. The time signature shows us how rhythm is organized in a piece of music. Basically, it shows us how much of what kind of note is in a bar. So for example, 4-4 four, four means there are four quarter notes in a bar. 4-8 means there are four eighth notes. 5-8 means there are five eighth notes in a bar, and so on. Now, the whole point of having bars in music is to contain musical ideas. So for example, if I have a bass line that's four quarter notes long, boom, 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 four, four is a perfect time signature for that. But if I have a bass line that's five quarter notes long, boom, 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 then four, four just isn't gonna cut it. We're gonna have to change the time signature to five, four to accommodate that. So to figure out what time signatures T.A. Mayer is using in the track, we need to identify the length of his musical ideas first. Okay, wowzers. So he's adding the guitar and bass there. Now maybe we can use that to identify the length of the musical idea. Actually, I'm gonna go down to that booty bass here. Okay, so I'm noticing that it plays for a bit, starts right there obviously, plays for a bit, and then kind of takes a pause and then comes back in. So maybe when it comes back in, that's already the beginning of the next musical idea. So what we could do is just highlight that area, starting where the bass first comes in and ending kind of right before the next phrase and hit Command L to put a loop bracket around it. This way we can see how many beats are in this space. Maybe this is the length of the musical idea. So I'm gonna unsolo the bass. And we're just gonna count along with the metronome. How many ticks are we getting in this space? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What the fuck? Ten beats? Oh my gosh. Well, okay, T.A. Mayor, fine. Let's, I guess, right click over here where the musical phrase starts and create a time signature change. We're not in 4-4 four, four anymore, Dorothy. Okay, we're in 10-4. Let's go ahead and type that in there and just hit enter. And now I'm going to see if that pattern holds. So I'm going to turn the loop bracket off. We're gonna keep listening, see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the? What the fuck? Okay, so we got ten four for a little bit, three bars of that. One, two, and then three, but then starting at bar 15, I noticed that the next phrase came in a bit early. Let's count that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we're going over to eight, four here. I, I don't know, let's right click, insert a time signature change, type in eight, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bam! Okay, so it looks like we're getting two bars of eight, four there, and then switching again to the next musical idea. So I'm gonna go back to my trusty booty bass here, solo it out, and I don't know, just kind of feel out where it starts and ends there. One, two, three, four, five, six, bam! Repeats again there. So I'm gonna, gonna guess that this is in six, four, but who knows? Let's just try it out. I'm gonna unsolo. 
right click here, insert a time signature change, let's type in 6-4 and see if that pattern holds for the rest of the section. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, seems like we're sticking to six, four here, and that's all good, but here's the sitch. Whenever TA develops a strong craving for bath salts, he also develops an equally strong craving for Taco Bell, causing him to release gas incessantly. Now, T.A. tries to use this to his advantage by using the gas as a sort of metronome, if you will. And this is exactly what's happening here, so you can see that's just following along with the metronome. We got six chalupa farts per bar. But things start to get complicated when T.A. You know, starts adding some Crunchwrap Supremes to his diet, and as a result, those are you know, some higher pitched, more desperate squealers that he has over the top. Now, what we're experiencing here is what's called a polyrhythm. A polyrhythm is when you have multiple sets of beats, all different numbers, occupying the same musical space. While the chalupa is dividing the bar into six farts, the crunch rap supreme is dividing the bar into eight farts. And so as a result, T.A. doesn't know which fart to follow along with. So in his drug-addled state, he kind of does both. He mixes and matches the rhythms together. So for example, at the beginning of each bar, he sort of pays more attention to the crunch rap supreme. Pay attention to the kick, how it follows along with the farts. One, two, three. And then towards the end of the bar or measure, he kind of switches, goes back to the chalupa groove. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So he's kind of switching between two different ways of thinking about the rhythm simultaneously, resulting in a very gassy but beautiful composition. Thanks for watching. To apply these concepts back to your music, try writing a simple beat in a time signature you haven't used before. Then, add some polyrhythms over the top and enjoy. I'm Underbelly. Have a great day.